Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And I am so glad you are here today with me. And you know we're going to talk about something and everything. We're going to get into it. But I just wanted to say hello and hopefully each and every one of you all are doing fantastic. Welcome back. That's the next thing I have to tell y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to the channel. Then you had to come over here. You sure did. But you were like, let me go see what they are talking about. I know she ain't talking about nothing but a piece of shit. But it's something. And I'm going to go on over there and get me my, li- my little kikis and my little ha-has. Okay? But don't forget, as you come into the house, or if you're when you leave in the house, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Come off that fence. Come off that curb. Come from in the bushes. Just come on into the house. And I say welcome to my YouTube family. Okay? But as we always have to say, like, share, and subscribe, and comment. You know I like the comments, even though y'all be coming for a sister, but it is what it is. That is my channel, okay? That's my original channel, and this is my second channel, all right? We need you all to go over there, do your thing, uh, subscribe to the channel so we continue to grow, all right? But we know you have to use this fair disclaimer act. Everything we doing over here is alleged. Alleged, alleged, alleged. Get it into your mind. Everything you're hearing over here at the house is alleged. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because we don't know nothing to be factual because we're too sorry to go into, you know, just to go in, into investigating the situation. Unless it's just one thing that just, you know, just picking at me, just gnawing at me. And I have to go see it for myself. But then that would be an exclusive. Okay, so we don't get too much into those, but you know we got to have a talk. We got to have a conversation. We got to get into it because this person that we're going to be talking about, child, <laughs> child, I can't keep it undercover any longer. We got to talk about it. We got to have a conversation. And why don't we get right on into it? Krishan Rock, Krishan Jr., Blueface, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? <coughs> Let's look at her face. Let's get into her face. Let's get into her emotions. Let's get into what she could possibly be thinking. Well, just from looking at the pictures that I gathered here for you all to look at they were fighting they were fighting one another and i tell you it goes right back to tina turner what's love got to do got to do with it yes honey what's love but a secondhand emotion child i don't understand it because i'm like y'all keep hitting one another something gonna happen lethal and somebody going to be in jail behind it. We need to learn to keep our hands to ourselves. And we need to learn it before baby boy turns a year old. Do you see her face? And she still has a nerve to haven't thought about removing that tattoo. Or at least putting something over it. Because she's battling demons. Demons from her childhood, how her mother raised her, how her daddy got down with them. It was a total abuse shit show for her. And now she's basically bringing it into her life and what she does with men, or let's just say blue face. Um, 
it is a hot mess. And then you think about Blueface and how he was raised by his mama, Carlissa. And we know she's a whole joke within itself. But it's like both of them have issues. They have mommy and daddy and life issues. And they just exploding on each other with their issues, their problems, their concerns. <sighs> I do know one thing by living this life. Love does not have to be physical. Love does not have to be somewhere putting their hands on you physically or even mentally. Because mentally can just be as bad as somebody going upside your head or any other parts of your body with force. I thought Krishan had had an eye-opening awareness after having her baby boy. But now I'm seeing maybe not so. Because, like I said, if a man got to put his hands on you one time, one time is enough where you will forgive him, but you will have to forego any other type of relationship with him. Meaning it's null and void. It's poof. You're gone in a situation. I don't understand it. I didn't ever understand it. I know people. I know family members have been through it. Some left. Some stayed. And some died. Now, have either one of them learned anything about each other and what they plan on doing at this point in their life? Well, evidently they did because we do know she has expressed uh, being, you call it, uh, pregnant at least three other separate times, but this fourth time she had the baby. I mean... He wanted to abort the baby once again because he done did ask her to do three of them and she did. And I don't know if she's just being spiteful. Well, when you know someone is with someone, that was a bad thing for Krishan to impede upon a relationship that he himself denied or w would start to deny, meaning he was going to end it to be with her. That never happened. Why? I believe because Blue likes his cake and he want to eat it too. And then he wants some more and some more and some more. It's like when one person bore him, he going to go to the other one that he got on standby. How these two women, Jade and Alexis and Krishan Rock or Malone I should say, how did they get so into this guy? I mean, I heard a good dick is a good dick, but it shouldn't be the be it be all type of situation. Is he handsome? Yes, he is. I don't understand why he wouldn't try to be a model. To tell you the truth, on his downtime, when he's not making music, he he could definitely model some underwear or some jeans or a whole damn suit. You know what I'm saying? Brother got looks, looks for days. But I don't like how he tries to empower himself over women. You know, he even said some mess about uh, if a bitch lay down, a bitch won't get hurt. I'm like, where do we say and we do all of that? But, you know, I guess that's his street code that his gang has taught him. I, I really don't know. I really don't know, but I do know one thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing to put your hands on anybody. Do I think he regrets it? Yeah, I do. I really do, but he can't control his anger. He needs to be in therapy somewhere to understand why he do what he do when he do it. Especially to women. Oh, to never understood it. Never, never, never.
And I don't want to understand that. I don't believe men should put their hands on women. And I don't believe women should put their hands on men. Anytime you feel you have to do that, then it's time to go. Period and point blank. Ain't that much love in the world. I have to sit and try to get hit on. And you consider that to be love. No. No, 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 no. That ain't love. That's craziness. That's uncontrolled display of anger is what that is. And I don't like it. And I don't like it for her. Um, I really don't like. I don't like it, period. Because I'm like, y'all still haven't learned anything. Just uh, a week or so ago, Blue was saying he was going to take the child from her. Blue was going to have the child be in the back room, according to Jaden. Blue didn't think she was fit enough to have a child. He said and told the girl he was with, his first baby mama, that she was going to have to raise the child. Or they were going to have to raise the child. Because Sean was going to be, you know, out for the count. And then she go on and say, oh, no. Uh, what did she say? Nobody going to take my baby. Ain't nobody going to take my baby. And I'm like, you keep messing up, they will. And we just recently got told that, you know, uh, Child Protective Services is on Blueface ass. Uh, and Jaden Alexis ass about how they've been getting calls from other people about the noise. And calls from other people about, you know, um, Blue asking his child, is he gay? I mean, <laughs> these are young adults we're dealing with. I do know that. And they have to have time to make their mistakes and learn from them. But my word, my word, my word, why do we have to put the hands on each other? Anytime you feel like you need to hit that person, or that person is really, really aggravating you, and that's when you separate yourself. And I do know Blue has tried to move out the situation, and Krishan would latch right back on him physically, making him be like, you know, you really need to get off me. And I can understand that because if he's thinking of volatile things to do to you, why are you holding him hostage? I mean, you really be wanting to yank him down, put force on him, and, you know, make him want to talk about it right then and there. When it's probably something like he needs to work it out in his mind before he be able to explain to you what he don't like and what's getting on his nerves. So y'all could fix it, but having this baby is not going to change the way Blue gets down. You should know that by now, but by how you infiltrated his relationship with his first baby mama. Now, that's karma right there. Karma hasn't forgot what you did. You didn't apologize for it, and you didn't leave him alone. That would show you some grace, and it would show some, what, maturity. But you didn't do it. You saw an opportunity, and, you know, men are weak. They lustful. And women are too, you know. But what's good for the goose can be good for the gander. But we don't like playing those type of games. Not when we get old. When we get mature, we're supposed to get wiser. And not put ourselves in certain predicaments. But we know. You have women that want to be Jezebels out there and throw themselves on someone they know is taken. And I can't say it was just a beauty, because both of them are pretty women. They are, really so. They are. But Jay didn't want to take care of no little Krishan Jr. She didn't want to. And she showed in her expressions on her face and her body language. She ain't got time to be fooling with somebody that tried to take her man. And on the upside, would you? The answer would be clearly no. But this baby is either going to bring more harm to the relationship, or it's going to be a better dig for them, in a sense. But he's going to have to decide, man in blue face, which one. Which one, which one. 
Because you can't be a popper like a rolling stone running around all your life. I mean, I guess you could, but it would be a lonely one. Because somebody's going to wake up. And it's not going to be a pretty sight when they do wake up. And this innocent little baby has come into the midst of their lives innocently. So I'm like, hmm. Okay, then we did see some photos of him making it to Baltimore. And I don't know if it's a hotel he's staying in. I don't think so. I think he's uh, laying low with Krishan and whatever uh, situation, her living situation is. Okay. That's what I, I understand, which is pretty much going on there. But it's all good in the neighborhood. It's all good in the neighborhood. But if Blue did it to Jaden, Krishan, are you ready for him to do it to you? Because that is a possibility there. There's a strong possibility he would do the same thing to you. And maybe it'll be a third woman he may bring in. Ah, I don't know. I don't know about Blue. You know, I don't know about him. But he's there to make money. Off for of either one of you all. He can't seem to make money off Jaden because Jaden is just not that appealing. She's a mothering type. Maybe she need to get her daycare or something to that effect. Build a business with uh, loving on kids and hiring folks that love kids as well. But uh, no, I really feel it's going to be a money situation thing that takes over this situation with Blueface. Yes, he's going to love on his son. Mm hmm. Because it's him. You know, it's his son. But I believe he's going to take Christine, uh, Christian for a ride. And it's not going to be looking good in her perspective. Because he wants to make money off of her. Period and point blank. And at this time, he can't. But I don't know if it's true or not. They said she signed to MILF uh, something. MILF? Some uh, label. Huh? MILF record label that he uh, founded and uh, from what pictures are showing is that she signed with him did you not learn anything did you not learn anything Christian you had an opportunity to make money you know with some other manager or label and you call your shots but and you you know hang on to your own money and, and decide what you want to do with your money but now your money's going to be mixed up again up with him He's going to say you ain't made no money. He's going to be spending the money behind your back. Okay, buying you stuff with your own money when you could do it your damn self. So that's what I see. I may be totally wrong, but I really feel he finna get her back for everything she put him through. And he's going to take her money. He's going to get back control over her. And it ain't going to be nothing she can do about it because she signed a contract. You know, he might not be in her bed for long, but he definitely going to own her as far as her making music and what type of music and all this. He's going to have a say. So I'm like, poor baby. You got to keep that baby in, in prayer and Jaden's kids in prayer because these three don't know what the hell they're doing out here. Not really. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see you good people on the next video. Bye-bye.